Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use conditions in Power Query to do an approximate match. So if you're familiar with VLOOKUP, there is an approximate match lookup. What that means is you don't really want to bring back the exact match and this is kind of very useful in doing bonus commissions or if you've got tax tiers. Let's say you have a quantity 748 here and there's no match really with 748 here but what we want to say is if our quantity is 748, we want to bring back that percentage. And anything that is equal to 500 or greater, bring back 0.5%. Here's another example. If it's something like 10, we don't want to bring back 2%. We want to bring back anything lower than 100, which is going to pop up here to 10%. Now, if you look up, this is what you do. I'll type if you look up, press tab. My lookup value is here and my table array is here. Press F4 to lock those cell ranges, comma, and my column index, I want to bring back the second column. And the very important part is we want this approximate match. So it's true, approximate match, close parentheses, press enter, and now you notice it's brought back the correct things here. We have 748, brings back 5%, quantity of 10, it should bring back 10% because we don't want anything we want everything that is between 199 and if we are at 199 here, we, would, we want to bring back 2%. So anything between 100 and 199. We can simulate this with Power Query using conditions. I'm going to bring this particular table here, Control C, and bring it down here, Control V, and bring this into Power Query. So under data, go to from table and range. It will ask if I need to create a table there. Yes, I will create a table. Click OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some conditions. What you notice here is Power Query had changed the type. It looked at these things and it actually changed these uh, values here. And it changed it to uh, values, it changed it to whole numbers. That's fine. We'll keep that particular step which it incorporated. We're going to introduce another step here. And what this is going to do is we're going to add a column. We're going to add this commission column. And this is using the conditional column command. Click on that. And it brings up the add conditional column window. Let's call this commission. And we have a couple conditions that we're going to add. The first is, is the quantity. So if it's less than 1, it's going to be 0. And what we're going to do is add another rule. If quantity is less than 100, we're going to give it 0.1. And another rule is going to be our 100 to 199. So if this is less than 200, it's going to be, this will be 0.2. We'll add another rule. If quantity is less than 500, then we'll give a 0.5. And we're going to add our last rule because anything over anything 500 and above is going to be 0.5. So we're also going to say if quantity is greater than or equal to 500, we'll give it a 0.5. Click OK. We have our data there. Go to home, close and load, and we're going to click close and load to this particular worksheet. So let's put this into our existing worksheet here. Let's put it into cell C13. Existing worksheet, we'll type C13, uh, oops, C and then 13. Click OK, and now you notice that it's put it there. The nice thing about Power Query is if you have a lot of data, if you do this in a recurring basis, it's kind of easier to update it. So for example, let's say that we updated our table here. Type 1, press tab, you notice that it looked up that percentage here. We can do the same here, press tab, type the number 1, tab, whoops, let me resize this table, it should be up here in A20, and all I need to do is click the refresh button here, you see that refresh, or I can go under data, refresh all, it's going to put that information in there, so we have our quantity 1, which is 10% here. So that's the way that we can use Power Query to simulate a VLOOKUP formula, which is doing an approximate lookup. It's not doing a true, a exact lookup. It's doing an approximate lookup. So I hope this helps.
Thanks for watching.